Hey, yo, thanks for stopping by. Welcome to my studio. Come on in. As I say, this beat where the magic happens. My name is Alex Lawrence. I'm a producer under the name of Sam Rydell. I've been producing for about 10 years now. I also DJ. I'm an engineer um, from Pasco, Washington, living in Seattle for about seven years now. My last project that I put out was, or full length, was uh, called Till Death. I put that out back in April of last year. Uh, super proud of it. Worked with some artists around Seattle and beyond. But yeah, I also put out some singles as well this year. Me and this uh, vocalist, her name's Lorelai. Uh, we got a whole EP that we've had finished since about November, probably. Uh, kind of sitting on it just for a bit, just to see how things pan out first, just like with COVID and what's going on. Because ideally this doesn't get swept on the rug because I'm really proud of it and very confident and it's like kind of undeniable with this, with this record. Um, but yeah, that should be coming out this year sometime. Uh, we got a music video. And then we got features from Saul and uh, Dave B on there as well. Initially, during COVID, I was just creating every single day and just cranking shit out. And it was super dope and probably the best music I've ever made up until about October. And then just like not be able to play shows and like get people's reactions from these new songs I've been putting out. It's like kind of taking the motivation away to keep creating. Um, but yeah, hopefully it comes back. But yeah, this, this shit sucks. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I mean, I copped the the ex DJ, which is what I use for DJing, um, and then the Prophet, April of last year, the Sweetwater, uh, zero percent interest, bro. <laughs> but yeah, I've always wanted one of these. Um, one of my favorite bands is electronic groups, I guess, is Rufus to Soul. This is like they use the Prophet Five. This isn't far off from it, but yeah, that's like their entire sound pretty much is based off that one synth. But yeah, I just love how it sounds like with this one. This is like right when I got it when I made this, but like it just super analogy sounding. I mean, you got like these kind of sounds. I mean, you can do a lot with it. I really haven't. I made a, f a good amount of sounds with it. But yeah, this is how I keep track of, because there's, there's user programs, and this is how I keep track of where the last one I wrote was. <laughs> Real, uh, sci uh, what's the word, technical. <laughs> I've been kind of getting more into analog stuff, or trying to at least. So it's been a good first, first synth, I think. Lately, like we've been, I've been putting on some Twitch streams every now and again. Um, not super like serious about it, like trying to like build like a thing, which I maybe I should be doing that. But uh, yeah, I mean, most of the time it's just fun. I go over, my, one of my homies has another, has one of these as well. So I'll go over to his house sometimes and we'll just mix together since he lives just down the road. Um, that's the, so that's what we, that's what I use to live stream. Like this is like that whole like section right here is just live streaming shit. It's a lot of equipment, um, but yeah. And then the APC 40 is what I was using for live stuff, but it's boxed up because not using that right now. And then yeah, I got a, the mic, the preamp for that, and then pretty much over here. That's that whole chunk. I had a Tele for a while, like it was from 2001. It was kind of beat up. I bought it off Craigslist, but just hearing like seeing videos of me playing live with it, it just not the sound I wanted. Um, they're really good. Tellies are really good. I love how they sound, the neck pickup especially. The strats are just so much more versatile. And yeah, because like if I want to do some more like rock and rock and roll stuff, bro, like <laughs> just hit that that bridge pickup and it's, it's perfect. But yeah, it's really good for funks for the funk stuff I do as well. Cause that's most of the stuff is like when I'm playing guitar, like a lot of the funk. Trying to get that sound. Uh, but yeah, and then I picked up this acoustic this year. 
I had a Fender that I bought probably in 2009 and the action was just stupid on it and it wasn't fun to play. Uh, so I picked up this Washburn. It's pretty solid. I mean, I don't play acoustic too, too much, but it's nice just to be able to not have to plug in if I want to play around. And then I picked up this Ibanez. By no means is it a nice bass, but, and I don't, I've been trying to play a little bit more bass on stuff, but yeah, still learning that. It sounds okay. Um, with EQing and whatnot, you can make it sound better than it does. <laughs> Ever since 2016, I've been trying to incorporate guitar more because I took a big break from playing guitar, probably like four years. Yeah, probably four or five years because I just was obsessed with sampling. It's like, I don't need to play instruments, bro. I'll just steal from other people. <laughs> That's the uh, Bitches Brew from Mount Bynum Miles Davis. Uh, I, when I moved into this apartment, I started framing stuff because I kept getting comments. Like, I just had them posted up on the wall. Like, this feels like a college dorm, dorm room. Like, I didn't like that. So. <laughs> So when I moved in here, I was like, this place, I got the house plans. I was like, this place needs to be refined. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, but that's a homie from Spokane who made that. And then got these two checks up here. That was my first big check from a show that I played, like, but that I put on by myself. And then the other one, they put a bunch of art, like Seattle artists into like the, you can stream at the, the library music, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's a check from the city of Seattle paying me, you know, that's never gonna happen again. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is just like a bunch of, like that's a, from the Inlander in Spokane. Um, yeah, there's this um, kind of like a, it's like the whole East, Eastern Washington that gets it. It's like a newspaper kind of thing. But I always, when I was in high school, I always wanted to be in it because I thought like, oh, that's super crazy. But yeah, then it finally happened, so framed that up and then I got the block party artist thing. What's that called? Credential. <laughs> and then the big gigantic support as well. Yeah, the rhino just, yeah, just vibes. No, it, it funnels the sound, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, having good space is really important. Um, every time I move though, it takes me a while to get acclimated into it. And it's kind of cool every place I move, like different music comes out of me, so. But yeah, we'll see what comes out of here. So, I mean, when I was, for every first four years of producing, I was making uh, a lot of, you know, ripping off of Ninth Wonder and Jay Dilla, that kind of stuff. And that's what I was doing for the, a good four, probably five, six years. And before I got into making more synth-based electronic stuff. Um, yeah, I just kind of got... I don't know. I, I'm not a, someone who likes to just make the same music over and over again. I like to expand my horizons and go out of my comfort zone and start growing. Because like probably up until 2015, that was when I first started working around with synths. And then, so that was another thing I'm really big into is making my own synths. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm not a fucking legend out here just like making everything. I use presets too. Um, but what I like to do is is like, I'll kind of do my main synths I'll have as since I make from scratch. Like this is one I made in Serum. It's pretty simple, it's just crazy automation and stuff. But yeah, it's kind of like with sampling. When you find a sample, you want to use something that no one else has used. So it's kind of like having your own sound, signature sound uh, with synths as well. I can't play keys very well. Um, probably learn but yeah this is kind of this is what that was really enticing about this is and you know it doesn't play it, the chords for you I mean, you have to figure I had to learn theory or I mean some theory at least I'm not saying I'm a <laughs> uh, savant by any means but yeah this is and then I can control the profit from here um, yeah just a great thing and then I can do automations I use it for playing live as well I mean my drum like it depends I mean it depends on the what it's calling for. Like if I'm doing more boom bap stuff, then I'm going to play it on here. But yeah, so if I'm like kind of doing more trappy stuff, then I'm just going to ride it, the drums in. But yeah, I mean with this one, this is with that, with Lauren. But yeah, I can show you a little bit of this. Hates Gemini's, but you don't. Cause you're the other half of crazy to my mental. And we're such a piece so we're going together. But I promise I can switch in them forever. Yeah, I've been using a lot of buses Everybody lately. Gemini's, but you this is that, the vocal bus. Yeah, you 
you can see that it, it's doing its thing right now. So these are all these chords I played in it. And then these are synths I made in, in Serum. Big Serum guy. <laughs> I'll show you this one with uh, Dave B real quick. I, like I sent Dave a beat in 2013 when I was in high school. And uh, yeah, he hit me back and he's like, yo, this is dope. And then sent me the track. It was called uh, Galaxy Defenders. He, he never put it out, but he played it at his live, at his shows um, for like a long time. And yeah, that was cool. So since then, I've been trying to get him on a track. I've done remixes for him since then. But yeah, we just reached out to him and said, hey, you should, we have a verse open here. We did the same thing with Soul. And yeah, those are pretty crazy. Just getting them on there. So I took, I started out with this vocal melody that I found on, on Twitter. I think it's from Tadal, the, the melody. You listen to it. Look at that sax line he does in there. So it's literally a guy on Twitter like humming it and then I just ripped it. <laughs> but it's a super dope like uh, little tidbit in there. So this is super, like the piano in here is super jazzy. Got these strings. Oh, never mind. I don't know what I think. Every time the day was turned, I know it's on me. But I've been realizing I can't get something. Back into my mind to escape. I know I should. And then we brought in Dave here. And then yeah, this is some guitar we got in there. The probably the dopest part in the song, we got this, this little bridge here. I'm so fucking tired of this little like right here, right here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hold on, where's it at? So I see so I can hear that. So I go away back into my mind to escape. I know I should try. Thank you. gotta hit that that young solo at the end. And I'll admit, like, pretty much my guitar tone that I like to go to is pretty much just ripping off Mike Dean. <laughs> that uh, that guitar tone from, a, what's it called? Devil in a New Dress? With that fuzz on it? Like, that that's my shit. So, yeah, super, super dark on this one. I started, or at least I put the feelers out to start recording at a Forest Recording, which is a studio that uh, Tyler Dops runs. Um, but yeah, you can always reach me through my, my email, which is Delphonic, that's D-E-L-F-O-N-I-C, beats at gmail.com. Um, that's where you can hit me up for engineering, mixing. I don't do mastering, but yeah, I, I feel pretty comfortable and confident in my mixing and engineering these days. You can follow me on Instagram, uh, at Samurai Dell. And then you can also follow me on Twitter, same handle, at Samurai Dell, facebook.com slash Samurai Dell. Um, yeah, it's all about. No, I'm not on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, but yeah, it's not for me. <laughs> it's been real having y'all here, but I got some beats to make, some beers to drink, so I'm gonna need y'all to get the fuck out. There's a door. <laughs> <laughs>